In this video, I'm going to cover six ways that floating can help you to stick to your New Year's resolutions. Your goal for 2020 doesn't have to be to float more often. In order to have floating support your 2020 resolutions, although it is a great goal to have. Most resolutions don't last, but having a solid plan in place will help you to stick to your resolutions this new year. Including float therapy as part of your support system for achieving your goals in 2020 can really help you to stick through and accomplish those resolutions. Here are six ways that floating can help you with your 2020 resolutions. First way is through exercise and sports recovery. Floating can really help to relax your body and allow the blood to flow through clearing the lactic acid from the muscles after a hard workout. Now most of us going into new workout routines in the new year often struggle partially because we push ourselves too hard too soon and have a hard time recovering and getting in for all of those different workouts. Floating really is one of the best sports recovery methods ever. It uses a thousand pounds of Epsom salt in the water, which helps you to float effortlessly. And athletes have been using Epsom salt baths for centuries as part of their recovery because of the magnesium that's in the Epsom salt solution is really good for muscle function. And so if you're starting a new workout routine in 2020, you may find yourself getting more sore while going to the gym and using floating as part of your recovery routine can really help to make a difference and help you to stick to going to the gym more often. The second way that floating can help you with your 2020 resolutions is through helping to promote weight loss. Now, I don't believe that just floating in general is gonna help you lose the pounds, but there is a dramatic reduction in cortisol levels when you float, which can make a difference in how stressed your body is. And we know that the stress hormone cortisol really inhibits fat loss and makes it difficult to lose weight. So the less stress that you have in your body, the easier it is going to be to shed those pounds. And also speaking of stress, floating is one of the best things you can possibly do to de-stress and relax. And so if you're, one of your resolutions this year is to keep it cool and not stress out as much, you can definitely count floating on a list of things that you should do on a regular basis to avoid burnout and keep yourself even keeled and relaxed and de-stressed. In addition to helping you relax, we know that reducing stress levels actually makes it easier to fight off cravings. So if one of your resolutions is to quit smoking, to drink less, to combat any drug addictions, you can really use floating as part of your recovery and to resist those urges that are inhibiting you from getting to those goals and those New Year's resolutions as well. Most of our New Year's resolutions look to add on to an already busy schedule and to just stack on top of one another all these things that we want to accomplish in our lives. And if you're really gonna be pushing hard and you need to avoid burning the candle at both ends, floating can help to promote deeper sleep and is even used as a way to get sort of a, a deep nap or some extra sleep in to your schedule regularly. Now, I'm not a believer in the whole concept that floating is exactly equivalent to sleep. Some people say that an hour in the float tank is like doing four hours of sleep. They're not exactly the same thing, but there is a similarity in that theta brainwave state we get into when we're floating. That's a lot like the REM sleep state. So there is a lot that can be beneficial as far as creativity and memory consolidation when you are floating. So if you're pushing your goals really hard in 2020, adding in floating as something that you're going to do to promote that rest and sleep is a great option. 
A lot of people also find that floating towards the end of the day is a great way to turn their brains off and ease into sleep. And because of the magnesium in the water, a lot of people say that they have the best sleeps ever after a float. And the final way that floating is going to help support your goals in 2020 is through meditation. Meditation's become a very trendy resolution to have. And by floating, you're getting the best of both physical relaxation, but also getting yourself into a deep meditative state so you can practice that mindfulness while also helping your body to relax, which makes it a bit easier if you're new to meditation to avoid that physical discomfort that sometimes comes with sitting in a traditional meditative posture for extended periods of time. Because we know that floating helps you to get into that theta brainwave state, which used to be thought to be only accessible to people who are experienced meditators or while we're in REM sleep, it really has become a useful piece of technology and a helpful recovery modality for getting this deep mindfulness, even if you're not an experienced meditator. So it's a great way to kickstart the process on your meditation journey in 2020 as well. And the other great thing is most float tanks these days have audio ports. So if you've got guided meditations you're working on, you can plug those right into the float tank and learn the meditation process in this super relaxed state. So unless floating more often is going to be your goal in 2020, it's not directly related to how you're going to stick to your resolutions, but it is going to help support a lot along the way on your resolutions and goal setting in 2020. So I encourage you to find a float tank near you and get out there and try it as something that you're going to really embrace in this journey to accomplish your dream goals in 2020. One of my New Year's goals this year is to upload more videos in addition to the Flowcast that goes out every week. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay tuned with all the latest updates. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. And until next time, continue on the journey to find your flow.